Hi Cyber Angels and new uh, viewers Welcome to Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm Shah uh, from the channel and I do readings and this week I'm using the Transparent Tarot by Emily Carding as well the second edition and I hope you will enjoy them this week it's going to be a different spread it's going to look like um, a film and if you um, would like to have an extensive reading then you find all the information below in the description box where you can find my website or the email etc etc um, I did have a lot of re positive reactions with this uh, deck it's a beautiful deck and um, I'm going to show you a different way of reading the cards in a different kind of spread um, and I hope you will enjoy it as much as last week okay please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified I've put a video out there um, on how to set uh, it in the settings um, because you have to not only do it on YouTube but you have to give YouTube permission um, to notify you so have a look at the video if you are not sure on what I mean um, you can do it on I've done it on the laptop and I've also done it on a mobile device okay so I hope that will help you get notified on your favorite channels all right let's get started let's go over to the reading take care and enjoy hi Aries this is your reading for the 14th through the 20th of September 2020 and I'm Shah welcome back <coughs> and I hope you're all well my cyber angels and new view, uh, viewers I'm using the transparent tarot again this week but in a different spread it looks more like a film this week so uh, up to now they have been mind-blowing really uh, just go and have a look at um, Capricorn and Aquarius and Pisces is short but powerful so I wonder what your reading will be like because you are a powerful sign okay so let's get started I'm not doing the Monday Wednesday and Friday because I'll be raising them up into a pyramid okay here we go Aries you first of all we start off with the ace of cups your cup is literally dripping because it's flowing over Wow, there could be new love, there could be new passion, or there could be something uh, that you are starting and you're nurturing it like a baby. As the cups stand for love, passion, nurturing, sensuality and sexuality. Look, you've got the drive, whether it's for passion, love or something that you're nurturing as your baby. It could even be a baby okay now if you um, if you've uh, given birth to a baby then obviously it's not a cancer but it could have cancer in its sign or Scorpio or Pisces Wow amazing this is really also yeah this is really a spiritual reading if at first glance you could be emotionally um, sensitive at the moment but you could have also met a cancer Scorpio or a Pisces and that could be your new passion or love you could have started a job in the healthcare even as a secretary or a receptionist at the hospital or um, um, a care institute there's a lot of possibilities and you know that I'm reading for thousands of people and uh, that's why I have to consider all the possibilities as much as I can in such a short time now if you would like to have an extended reading with regards to your question then you find the information either in the top right hand corner on the screen that will take you to the website or below the video in the description box and this cup is really brimming over it's even spilling so there might be lots lots and lots happening and the divine light is shining on you literally and figuratively as we have the Sun Wow 
The sun means also fertile. The ground is the time and the ground is fertile to start new lasting projects because you are in the spotlight. You're being recognized for your love, your nurturing or your caring or your passion about things. It could be a Leo that has an eye on you as well. Wow. Like I said, your, um, you, your emotions might be high at the moment, very sensitive. You might be more perceptive. You might be listening more to your intuition. You might be spiritually developing. Wow. It's on you, darling. It's on you. The sun is a spotlight and so you are being noticed okay with what you are doing okay or who you are also where there is a spotlight there is illumination so something is highlighted perhaps you might need to do more research before jumping into the deep this will stand you in good stead because the sun is shining on the cup like I said where there is a birth it needs to grow and you'll be nurturing that uh, growth whether it's a child or whether it's a project you'll be nurturing it into blossoming so that you can get the harvest reap the harvest whoa nice 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 not only that but um, you could also be going on holiday you could be I've got a feeling for some of you it could be a honeymoon to a warm country. You could also be um, start buying a house and moving in and doing it up. You are taking care of this movement and into the new house you might be decorating. As the drips of the cup to me symbolize I see a, a, um, a tin of paint dripping so be careful of spilling you might be refurbishing your house wow uh, the sun also means that something is going up to the next level so if you are uh, only having an a passionate relationship at the moment it will might go up to the next level and become a fully fledged um, relationship a permanent relationship because water goes um, with the flow and goes where um, uh, earth and fire can't go all right you are going with the flow you have reached maturity you are growing up you are you have nurtured the situation and um, improvement is at hand big time wow now I don't get this all the time the, the same cards in different readings have different meanings because this reading is coming in together it's flowing in together literally and figuratively now the uh, you've got the high priestess here so you are playing your cards close to your chest you're not telling everybody your news you're not an open book as she is very mysterious and she is a person that listens to her intuition and uses her spirituality her third eye um, her new ideas she's going to bring into the material world like I said I see a pot, a pot of paint a paint a pot of paint yeah dripping so be careful of spilling so it also means be careful of spilling the news uh, be careful um, uh, when you are going to tell everybody that you have a new relationship or a new job just take your time check the contracts because of the book uh, there could be secrets uh, look at the small print if signing contracts um, because you are more uh, uh, susceptible uh, to believing everybody because you're a loving caring person look at the Sun this Sun has eyes so look at the small print before signing play your cards close to your chest tr uh, chest sorry <laughs> Um, so take the contract and get it checked by a professional person and see whether there's any glitches so that you will not have to um, so that you won't have to shed tears in 
the future. You have learned from the past by the looks of it. Because the cups, and especially here with all these tears, you don't want to have um, sadness coming into your life. Okay? You need the light and you need the moon, the dark side. Everything has got a shadow side. So you might have to do more research because the uh, the sun is a spotlight and because the moon is also a spotlight uh, but this is the high priestess but it just reminds us there is a dark side to everything so make sure that everything is in order don't tell them that you're going to uh, have the contract checked out just keep the cards close to your chest like the high priestess listen to your intuition and act accordingly then we're going on to the next layer and now this is getting exciting here you are uh, you have the knight of swords look at that the knight of swords is looking at the sun now he might be blinded by the uh, strong light by the sun so that in I would interpret that don't close your eyes to warnings listening to your intuition will stand you in good stead and bring you clarity okay you're leaving the tears from the past behind you look at that the Sun is coming out of the cup new beginnings new love new success so learn from the past so that you will have a bright future don't get blinded this news could be coming through cyber and that means email text message or telephone call you could also be meeting a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarius and you might start a new relationship with them or going up to the next level with them awesome but the swords stand for communication so communicate to keep things transparent and clear and bright and exciting nurture your relationship Aries okay because there is the Leo so that your the fire signs is here so it could be a Leo it could be any of the water signs or any of the air signs keep the communication going you will be uh, having lots of passion here because uh, the air signs are swift and very creative but they like a challenge they've got the gift of the gab certainly Gemini so you and that will be a challenge for you because you like action as well and you are full of passion now the next card we're going to use is a minor arcana card and that is the five of pentacles if you don't communicate you will feel left out the five of pentacles look at the the the, the night uh, this is your reading so it could be you that's being cut off by somebody because of the sword that could be an air sign if your partner is an air sign or prospective partner or somebody that's coming in don't feel left out now look where the five of pentacle person is sitting he's sitting on the book of answers the Torah the answers the wisdom um, that the high priestess has and that is the book of secrets because she doesn't tell anybody that she has all the answers so keep some things if you have money then f for example don't tell them uh, at the first instance uh, I'm a rich bitch okay <laughs> um, so just keep that to yourself let the uh, relationship develop naturally and groundedly okay otherwise there will be tears because then this will not be a proper relationship uh, built on proper solid foundations it might be because they might be interested in you if you tell them you've got money if you are well off don't look at the material side of things don't let them know your uh, material side of things or your ideas 
they might pinch them. Okay. Um, now, what what else do I see here? I also see that the um, knight uh, brings news, and the knight is looking towards the sun. So it's good news that's coming in. So if you're not uh, well off, then it might be something uh, news to do with finances, so that you don't feel left out. You might get a new job, so you'll be a new member of a new situation because you ha most probably will have to work in a team. Perhaps you lost your job and now you've applied for jobs and you're going to become a member of a team again. You might feel left out of family and friends because you are sitting. Look how he's sitting. He's sitting there with his head down. He said he's depressed. But you have come into action and there will be news and clarity about finances will improve. The sun is shining on it. Wow. Just keep your cards close to your chest and once you've signed that contract then you can tell everybody I've got a new job. Amazing. If you are in a judicial situation clarity will be brought to daylight because of the swords they stand for justice, they stand for wisdom they stand for transparency, they, they stand for honesty, because honesty will prevail. And the truth always comes out. The sun is daylight. The moon was the dark side. Okay, So there were things perhaps you didn't know, and now it's coming out. The truth is coming out. So there might be a, an a adjustment accordingly to your financial side of things. You might have in somebody out there might have been blamed for something that they didn't do about taking money out of the till or something that is what I'm seeing somebody that's worked in the shop and they were unjustly um, blamed and now the truth is coming out boom if you want that job back then you can choose to do so if you want that job or that position back the truth and justice will be served. The darkness is behind you. Look, this is you. Dark side is behind you. Now we're going on to the next phase. That is the last card of the film. Let me just put them straight. It's not that easy to put them straight. <laughs> it's a bit fidgety again you've got the page of wands so the page of wands is definitely Sagittarius but don't exclude Aries or Leo again news of action action could be about a job or creativity which is a hobby news is coming to you and here it is like very little child which rem uh, re uh, reminds me it could be brought by a young person but it could also be just the little bit of news that you need to grow into your own right. Because you're becoming mature. Or again, there could be a promotion. Okay? <coughs> if, for example, you've been wanting a promotion and somebody else got it, the truth will come out how they. Uh, passed you by and they might have cheated in an interview who knows or an entry exam um, justice will be served look the sword is right in the middle of the page so it could be that somebody is being justified it could be you that you are being put in justice everything has got two sides okay things will be put straight. Look at the two arms joining. Something will come straight, will be in balance. Justice will be done. Amazing. Now, for the answer of the angels we have in the near future. Yes, it's coming towards you. Look at this. This could be you because you are in the spotlight 
right so the news and new good news is coming towards you it's being brought towards you justice is being brought towards you you are not left outside of the group I see this as the group and this is right sticking right out you will be back in the group in your position where you feel at home and where you want to be you don't have to keep any more secrets like the high priestess she keeps secrets she only speaks when she thinks she should because she's got the wisdom so somebody might have spoken up for you boom this could be a fire sign an Aries a Leo or a gem uh, a Sagittarius and the Sun is shining on you so believe and trust that justice will be done the tears are in the past look they're behind your back awesome nice and then the last card from Anne Ellis uh, Tarot she's the author so go and have a look at her channel and I'll leave the link below and go and have a look at all the uh, at her readings have a scout around she's a lovely lady she's from England and it says wishes dreams uh, wi and then in win in something I can't read uh, wildest dreams yes so your wildest dreams can come true time to make a move forward which you are taking action with balance and discipline and that is the sword that is you taking action and balancing things out with discipline because the, uh, an institution or a municipality has balance and discipline they work to disciplinary rules how strong is that amazing so I hope you've enjoyed this reading Aries take care and look forward to the future stand in your power boom love it please like and share and take care